It's the start of the weekend in the Saudi Arabian city of Jeddah. And across the center of town, Give me chili cheese. burger joints like this one are jumping. We have beef, chicken, shrimp. The counter is a chain from California that first came to Saudi Arabia in 2013 and recently opened a second popular spot. What is it about burgers and Saudis? I mean, it's a global trend when it comes to burgers, especially uh, gourmet burgers. Uh, Saudi Arabia has taken it to an extreme. Khaled al Dajani is half British, half yeah. Saudi. So these are a couple of the burger builds. And knows this American brand, the counter, is just one option in a highly competitive marketplace. We have so many burger concepts in between Jeddah and Riyadh. Um, you could actually, I think, have a different burger once a day in a week maybe even more. I think you can have maybe for two weeks. Wouldn't be very good for you. No, it wouldn't. It would be another one of those uh, supersize me kind concepts uh, where you'd need a doctor on, on call. Fast food is hardly new here. McDonald's opened the first of 80 outlets back in 1993. But as gourmet franchises attract a growing number of Saudi customers, <laughs> growing Saudi waistlines have attracted serious medical concerns. I expect in the next five years or so, the obesity epidemic will continue rising. So now we'll start our procedure. Dr. Ayad al Qatani is a top obesity surgeon here and is performing triple the number of gastric bypasses he was a few years ago. Here in Saudi Arabia, we estimated maybe 20,000 deaths per year related to obesity. 20,000 is a huge number. Data from several recent studies show that more than a third of Saudis are now obese, with almost 70% considered clinically overweight. But in a country where daytime temperatures top 120 degrees Fahrenheit, poor diet is only part of the problem. The lifestyle in Saudi Arabia is mostly driving the cars, not walking, not doing a lot of physical activities. Abdul Rahman Hadrawi has not worked out in years, he says, and hopes stomach surgery will help lose almost half his body weight. Do you think there is too much fast food in Saudi Arabia today? Yes. Is it a problem? Uh, yes. And you know, all the uh, companies here of the fast food is origin from America or from another country. Yeah, pull it back. And according to his doctor, the medical expertise and equipment used to treat obese patients here also comes from overseas. So both the hamburger and the techniques are coming from America? Yes, you're getting the cause and the solution. <laughs> so I will serve your drinks and your large cheddar with bacon. Perhaps the best solution for Saudis facing so many fast food options... So you want a running egg? may simply be to make better choices.